All right, it's live. I think that'll work. Hey, y'all. My chair gonna make poop sound, sorry. to the three that's Are you in the chat, honey? T money six pack, you can't use the S word. It's okay. Just say like I visited you or I hugged you or left you a cookie at your door or something like that. You just can't use the S words. Hey, Sherry. Hey, exploring with Jay. Nah, that's good enough. Thank you. So I thought today I would do a little bit of taste testing of a few of the things that we found. Um, just a couple of random things, nothing too much. Hey, Rob D. Now first up, is Coca-Cola orange vanilla flavor. Now, I've heard it tastes like a creamsicle. I really hope so. Rob B wants to know if you're in Oakley. I used to live in Oakley, but now I'm in Alabama. I'm try to go back there probably sometime next year or the next one. Hmm. I don't think it tastes like Coke at all. I'm not getting much Coke flavor. I'm getting a lot of uh, orange and vanilla. This weird little aftertaste on your tongue. You know what? That's not bad. Rob D wants to know what you're drinking. It is the orange vanilla Coke. That's not bad. I'd probably buy that again. Hey, Minnie Van Mike. How are you? And for the fun part, we picked up Bean Boozle, you have a chance for spoiled milk or coconut, rotten egg or buttered popcorn, barf or peach, booger or juicy pear, Hi, Rob. stinky socks or tutti frutti, dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie, toothpaste or berry blue. Canned dog food, chocolate pudding, moldy cheese, caramel corn, lawn clippings, or lime. I guess it's completely random as to what you get. Uh, I'm not looking forward to half of these. 
<laughs> hey Alexis. Hey Malika and kids. Sherry saying, "Oh my, LOL, canned dog food is bad." <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know the taste of canned dog food because I don't, t I don't try it for my dog or anything like that, so I can't say if I know that taste quite well or not. <laughs> Hey, Cindy Taylor. Thank you all for coming. All right, here's a white hey, one. Hey, Taco. It's either going to be spoiled milk or coconut. Now, I'm going to try not to be gross for any of these. Ew. I, I apologize <laughs> if something happens. <laughs> that's, uh... That's spoiled milk, all right. Ew. Mm-hmm. Hey, Judane, the queen. Oh, that's thank bad. Thank you all for coming. Please thumbs oh, up. That's the bad. <laughs> you okay, honey? No. <laughs> Thinking my life choices right now, but. <laughs> Alright, I got a brown one, so it's going to be. Canned dog food or chocolate pudding? Hey, Karen. Alright, that was a good one. That's chocolate. <laughs> I've still got the taste of spoiled milk in my mouth. She was sniffing. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, she, if I get the canned dog food, I think I'll just give it to her instead. Okay. <laughs> My chair is going to make noise. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying to adjust the camera and it's a little wobbly. I know. <laughs> Alright, I got a white and pink one, so it's going to be dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. What? You can't have this. Get over here, Mama. Okay, that's strawberry banana smoothie. Or no, that's sorry, that's tutti fruity. I'm getting some of these colors mixed up. <laughs> yeah, if it would have been dead fish, that would have been all she wrote. Probably. I like fish. <laughs> Wanna say hi? Come here. Wanna say hi? Come here. Come here. Is there too much stuff around? You wanna say hi? Speak. <laughs> Good girl. Come here. She was saying hi, everybody. Come here. Come here. Gia. Come over here. Up. Kiba. Come here. Come here. Come on. Say hi. What's say hi. I can't say it. I'm working on it. Hi, <laughs> Kiki. Hi, Kiki. Uh oh, we buffering a little bit. Now you're back. Uh, that's about as low as I can get it. Yeah. You might get her now. I guess if I hold it, come here. Come here, Diva. Come here. Oh, come on. Diva. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come up. <laughs> now, she doesn't normally come up, so it's kind of new for her. Come her here. Head on his lap. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. All right, she's just gonna hang out in the hallway then. Hey, the life of the Helms family. Hey, Levi. Thank you all so much for coming. Well, now I'm all lopsided. It's okay. Yeah. Alright, let's try another one. Now this one for sure is dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. <laughs> or barf and peach. I can't tell the difference between Ew. the pinks.
That's a bad one. You know what? That's a dead fish. But that's not bad. I'd probably eat that again. That's actually pretty good. I yeah. guess I won on that one. <laughs> you cannot have these. Let's see. Speak again. Y'all mingle with Speak. one another in the in Diva. the chat. If you Speak. see somebody you don't have, just <laughs> wrap them up. But just don't use got gotcha sub subscribe. You can't use none of those. Just say like I visited your channel or I left you a cookie or something like that. But y'all go ahead and mingle. We have cookies. No, we don't have cookies. Hey, hey. That's it. Stream's over. Uh, I got another one. I'm not sure exactly which flavor this one is. Tootie fruity, stinky socks. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just can't tell what the way they are. Definitely tastes like a bad one, though. I don't. I don't know. Is this the kind you did, Cherry? Alright, I got another brown one. I got a chocolate pudding last time, so I doubt I'm going to get that lucky again. Yeah, Cheryl, he's doing bean boozle or jelly beans. All right, here I go. <laughs> That's dog food. Ew. That's really dog food. How they get these flavors right like this, I don't know. That's... Smells like dog food, guys. Yuck. Are you done with those? <laughs> no, not quite yet. <laughs> Here's another white one. Spoiled milk or coconut. Another spoiled milk. I think I'm going to take a break for these from now. That's just nasty. Yeah, I need a break. <laughs> Actually, that may be coconut. I just can't tell. Man, that cook's really good. We'll have to buy some more of it. They don't make it in two liters, do they? No, I don't think so. Or just those little mini cans? Those and 12 packs is all I've seen. Oh, okay. All right, next up are beets. Pancakes and syrup. Couldn't remember what kind it is. I thank you all so much for coming to our live. No. These are not for you. <laughs> yep. Harold, that's true. I've always loved these things, as a little, even as a little kid. It's just marshmallow and sugar. What's not to love? All right, pancakes and syrup. Oh, 
It definitely has a syrup taste to it. I don't get anything else but the syrup. It's not bad. But it's not really too good either. Harold said just throw the bag away. <laughs> I might end up. Yep. Alright. And finally. Root beer float. I have high expectations for this one. Root beer floats are one of my favorite things. My favorite kind of root beer float is made with A and W, and I guess a kind of vanilla ice cream where you can see the vanilla bean flakes in it, you know, the little black specks of it. Um, those are probably one of my favorite ways to make them. Wow, that's good. Light root beer flavor. Tiny bit of vanilla coming through. A lot of the marshmallow flavor also. That's really, really good. I like that. That's really good. Hey, 49 cent rage Hamilton. All right, back to the jelly beans. <laughs> I want to at least try them all, one of each. It smells like spoiled milk in this. Could someone please tweet this app, the stream app, so maybe we can get some more to come in? I think I got a dead fish or a strawberry banana smoothie. I'm not entirely sure now. Ew. Or it's tutti fruity and stinky socks. Well, I, I can't tell with the pink. No. Yes, I, Andy, it is. I dropped one on the floor. Now my dog is going to be hunting it. <laughs> that strawberry banana smoothie. Good. Yeah, that's really good. Here's another pink one. Maybe bar for peach. I don't know. No, oh, they're dead fish. <laughs> it tastes just like fish. I like it. Like how I like sardines from a can. Yeah. That's really good. Right. Now here's another tutti fruity sticky socks. Hey Texas Life Julie. Thank you all for being here. That's tutti fruity. That's a good one. Jason says, How's the soda? 
it's really good. I'm not getting any kind of Coke flavor. I'm getting a lot of the orange vanilla. It does taste just like a, uh, what's it called? A creamsicle, I think I said. Yeah, it tastes just like that. It's really good. Thank you, Harold. Now, finally, two green ones. Now, I love lime, especially the fake kind of lime flavored things. It's one of my fla uh, favorite things. I love the kind of popsicles with that fake lime flavor. But this one could be either lime or lawn clippings. I'm hoping to get one of each. Baby Jason said awesome hat. Thank you. That's grass. Ew. <laughs> now he's eating grass, y'all. <laughs> still amazes me how you get the flavor of this stuff so correct. Alright, here's the other one. I hope it's lime. I can't tell. Well, they've been mixed in that box, so. Yeah, but normally when you chew them up and get to the center of them, they got flavor. I don't know if this is lime. It's very light in flavor. I can't tell. I believe this is peach and barf. <laughs> I'm not sure. I can't tell between some of the three, the peach, the strawberry, or the tutti frutti. I can't tell between the colors some, uh, sometimes. That's a bad one. That's, uh, that's barf. They got it. Ew. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> I hope this one's peach. I'm not that lucky. Barf again? Mm-hmm. Ew. I think I'm about to dump them out and try to get the ones that I haven't had yet. <laughs> no, no, just to try to get one of everything here. Well, this kind of stinks. I didn't get any of the blue. No toothpaste or berry blue. Alright, I got... Can't tell if that's white or yellow. This is three of the yellow ones, which can be rotten egg or buttered popcorn. I think buttered popcorn is probably my least favorite one of these, I guess, normally. Dropped it. <laughs> Oh, 
got it for a reason. That's rotten egg. No, oh, these bad ones are bad. Mm. Hey, backyard gardening. Now, I can't tell if this is white or yellow. I'm just going to take a chance to say it's yellow. I'm doing some better. How are you? I can't tell what that is. I just still have to taste a rotten egg in my mouth. Ugh. Everyone hit the thumbs up, please. make that orange vanilla coke in coke zero. We're gonna have to try that one too. Yeah. Now this one are the only two I have like this I believe which is juicy pear or booger. Mm. Knowing my luck I'm gonna get booger twice but <laughs> thank you so much backyard gardening. I appreciate everyone that's in here and has stopped by. I don't want to do this anymore. You don't like Coke Zero, Harold? I think it's pretty good. I like Coke Zero a lot more than Diet Coke. I don't think Coke Zero is as carbonated as Diet Coke. I may just be completely wrong. It may all be in my head. All right. Here's the other one, hoping for a juicy pear. I'm more of a Coke fan, Harold, than I am a Pepsi. Pepsi's pretty sweet. It's booger. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> Hey, Alicia, did I say your name right? Mendoza? I prefer Tab myself. Hey, Dojo. Now, as far as root beer goes, I think uh, A&W is up there, but my absolute favorite would be Dad's. That's just more nostalgia for me than anything. Dad's is good. What's that brand that only comes in glass bottles? They do IBC. IBC? Mm -hmm. IBC is really good too, but I guess of the cheaper kinds, A and W is my absolute favorite. Dad's is so hard to find now. I can really only find them like at the Dollar Tree or at uh, at Big Lots. They sell them in like the one liter or the one and a half liter bottles. We're gonna have to try the. Um the orange vanilla Coke Zero. We just have the Coke. I've never tasted Bars root beer. A uh, Barks? He said Bars. Maybe Barks. Oh, Barks. Um, they're pretty good. Um, I used to like the old commercials. Barks has bite. That's what they had at... Uh, at Burger King, I believe. They had Barks. It's Barks is pretty good, too. Uh, there's just a lot more in front of Barks for me. A&W, IBC, Dad's. Th those three are my go-to. But my absolute favorite, though, for root beer floats has got to be A&W. Yeah, Rob D., I like Mr. P.M.K. <laughs> when you can find Mr. Pib, I like it the best, but... Uh, it's hard to find here in Alabama. 
I think the only place we've ever found it was at Big Lux. Uh, I don't know, I guess the store brand for me for um, Dr. Pepper, I think it's Diet Dr. Thunder from Walmart. It's actually pretty good to me. I like it a lot. I could just be completely wrong and my taste buds be completely ruined. <laughs> Everyone give a thumbs up, please. I just want to get rid of all of these white ones. <laughs> I'm just going to do them all at once. There's about seven of them. So the mixture between coconut and rock, or, uh, I can't even remember now. I dropped the box. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. I'm hitting the camera, I think. Yep, you yep. need to look at the camera a little bit. <laughs> Spoiled eight milk cut. and coconut, and I'm doing seven or eight of them, I don't know. I was having a good evening. <laughs> You're already smashed back your gardening? Oh, you already smashed the like button. Okay, I understand. I should be smashed for this. <laughs> I think I got lucky. The coconut, a little stronger than the spoiled milk. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Why do they have to be so chewy? <laughs> Thank you, Put Put. I'm glad you you, you caught our lives. Hey, Sun Media. I'm not doing that again. Have you eaten all of them now? Oh gosh, no. Oh. I got a handful left of. <laughs> yeah, that's true, backyard. He said that's difficult stuff you've done. <laughs> I have a. I can't show it too well, or it's all gonna fall. But I got a handful of them. <laughs> I dropped two of them. That's all right. She blew a hoover them up. I should leave the brown ones for her. Get more dog no, food. I'm counting chocolate. <laughs> all right, this dog food. Come here, Cindy. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Sit. Speak. Y'all smash that thumbs up button, please. Speak. <laughs> She likes it. <laughs> Is she playing with it? Yeah. Now she ate it. Now she's eating it. She's loving it. Dog food. But I've got a mixture of just about everything here. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get a couple of the flavors. You too, uh, Alicia Mendoza. Thank you for stopping by. Stop by our next live, please. Well, here's another brown one up with chocolate. Okay, Dojo. Thank you for stopping by. Y'all have a good evening. Well, bottoms up. I'm just going to do the rest of them. <laughs> he just mixed them all together, guys. Now he's eating all of them. That was a mistake. 
Yeah. Eat nose. Yeah. No, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Boop. Okay. Boop. Keep it. Boop. Boop. Oh, those things are horrible. And if you want to do it, it's those little box of bean boozled. I wouldn't recommend it. Backyard gardening. I may see some of y'all after a while in a live. Sheba, come here. Come here. He's going to get wet. Y'all see Sheba. Come around here. Come here. Whoa. That was her moving the camera. <laughs> I think I'm still fine, right? Yeah. Go come, on. Here. come here. Come here. Come here. She's getting scared of me. Huh? I know. See it. Come on. Come here. Come on. Now she don't like everything. Yeah. Let's see, try to take your knees off. Come here. Go to daddy. You want a treat? Go to daddy. I'll give you a treat to do it. <laughs> Guys, he has eaten her treats before to see if they were okay. Yeah, I mean, it's other. Ew. See what I mean? Mm-hmm. Can I get a kiss? No. <laughs> you have a kiss on the jaw. He <laughs> eating one of those is fine for me, but I can't handle those jelly beans. <laughs> you want it? Put it over here. Look. Come on. Go get it. Come on. Go get it, Come on. baby. Come here, TV. Come on. Come on. Come here. You does not like doing stuff on camera, do you? Come on. <laughs> I think she knows she's Come here. filmed. <laughs> Come on. I need to pat myself for my own benefit. Come here. Here so y'all can see. Oh, come oh she be. Daddy didn't hurt you. <laughs> you are a rat. Do you realize <laughs> that? No. Come here. No. See. See. There she is, y'all. There's that little head. I call her mommy's quiet face. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Give me a kiss. Get a kissy. You want to speak? You want to talk? Good girl. <laughs> well, that's all I have for the taste testing part of this. Yep. What else would you all, do you all have something you'd like to talk about? Thank you, Sandy. She's our baby. And I will be right back. <laughs> I think tomorrow we're going to, um, I'm going to try to get out a little bit if I'm not in too much pain and uh, go down to the Publix. They've got some one or two things on sale that we're going to get. And um, we might ride around and film some where the tornado hit. There was a tornado hit this morning at 6 o'clock. Um, 
it tore up a lot of the Walmart garden center and stuff like that. And that was like five to ten minutes away from me. So we might go film some of that. Um, my nephew works at the Walmart. So we may go out tomorrow and, and uh, make a video of where it messed up and it uh, tore up a bunch of trees, chicken houses, um, barns blew apart. It did quite a bit of damage. But thank goodness it didn't, it, it turned, I guess is the way you put it, before it came over here to where I live or where my sister lives. All we got was really, really, really bad rain. We got some wind, of course. So, we're going to go out and film a lot of that. Yes, Cindy, it is close. And the thing about it is, I, I didn't hear the tornado alarm, but Ricky did. And he said it went off like at 6, and then it went off again at 6.30. So, I don't know if it come through and another one come through or what, but... It really tore it quite a bit. Now, what happened is about 6.30, between 6.30, 6.45, I heard the first siren. Well, the only siren. I didn't hear a second one. Oh. There, uh, we had gotten emergency alerts on our phone. I had just gotten an emergency alert, and then immediately afterwards, I heard the tornado siren. And then we got another alert around 7.00. But there was no tornado uh, sirens or anything there, so that could have been the one further away from us where it was in Blount, Blount or yeah. Blount, Blount. That's where you go to the doctor, right? I think so. Yeah, he goes to the doctor in, in Blount County, and it a lot of chicken houses and stuff through there got hit. But as far as I know, Thank the good Lord above, there was no fatalities. So, that that's a blessing right there. Um, I, we got like three appointments this week or next week, I can't remember. It's hard for me to remember a lot of stuff, but we got some more appointments that we're going to film too, probably go to the those appointments. I've got to have a CT scan done and go back to the doctor. Um, I've, where they did the, that little procedure on me, I've got some red places and I hurt extremely bad. So hopefully they can find out what's going on, I tell you. Like my brother says, once you start going to a doctor, you'll, you'll see a hundred before they're done. But, yeah, we were talking about going out, we're going to go out tomorrow, and we'll film where those trees were ripped up, and it, it was right there at the Cracker Barrel. And uh, it's where the Dollar Tree's at, and Belks, there's Belks there, a Dollar General, um, the Army Recruit, there's a children's place. It's like a little shopping center, and then right out from it is the, the Walmart. So it just like cut across. Uh, it tore up a lot of um, power lines. A lot of power lines were down. So, what else would you guys like to see from us besides hauls and stuff like that? I've got a DIY I'm going to do. Um, it's a $10 Dollar Tree challenge to make something like for Easter. And I've got that to do. And we're going to do some um, How We Bet 
um, like story time and stuff like that. I don't like storms either, Cindy, honey. When we lived in Georgia, um, we had to evacuate because we had was written a trailer at that time. And uh, when the, they turned the power back on, the trailer burnt. So we lost everything. So that's why I get so scared when there's tornadoes and stuff. I found something else for us to try that I forgot about. And the tropical punch flavored pickles. Y'all think they're going to be good? Fruit punch flavored pickles. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Cindy says it sounds icky. <laughs> I'm just worried about this red staining everything. Ricky loves pickles. I love pickles. I love pickled stuff, but I don't know if I would choose this ever again. <sighs> Probably Cindy. Is it good? Nope. What does it taste like? How about you come over here and you find out? Uh, no. <laughs> um, it's got fruit punch and pickle and vinegar. I mean, you can taste everything. It's just not a good combination. I'm not a big fan of sweet pickles, sweet relish, bread and butter pickles. I don't particularly enjoy those. Maybe somebody who enjoys those would like these, but... It's not something that I want. No, thank you. Now this is my kind of pickle. Pickled jalapenos are some of my favorite things. I can't eat too many of them anymore, but they are absolutely wonderful. Is that that great, out of that great big can we got at Dollar Tree? No, those are sliced. Oh. I need to bring those on and show them. Yeah. So they can see what, if they can get on the mm -hmm. Dollar Tree. I doubt they're going to be hot, though. And I don't like that. They have jalapeno flavor, but because they're already pre-sliced, the seeds fall out. They don't really have the ribs and everything intact, so all the flavor just goes away when you buy pre-slice and pre-cut things. Now these retain their heat. What little bit of heat there is. They have all the seeds in them. All the flavor just stays with it. That's why I love buying them whole pickled. Yeah, I remember you saying that. He likes pickles but hates relish. Same goes with tomatoes and ketchup and spaghetti sauce. And we got some of these. These are just those sweet peppers we picked up the other day. Not hot and whatsoever. Really, really good. They're like a sweet bell pepper. Yeah, I like them. They're really good. I wonder if I do, if I cook some ground beef, kind of cut these in half, 
be like some weird pseudo stuffed bell pepper. Yeah. I'm about to try that. Yeah. Ah, oh, skin span all day's raidness. Hey, kitty cat diva. Hey, backyard gardener. Tick the thumbs up, please. Cindy, honey, I think his stomach is made still. Well, I enjoy hot and spicy things. I do not see a reason for people to have the what I call stupid hot stuff. Like, uh, anything over a ghost pepper, for me, is stupid hot. People that do, like, the scorpion, the boot Jalokia, or whatever it's called, those ones. I don't. I don't ever see their enjoyment being made with it. People want to make those kinds of hot sauces. I don't see how you can eat them. I don't see a point to them. I like heat. Jalapenos. Um, God, what's above it? Thank you so much, Skins fan. I can't remember. But I can. Um, Terry's Angels. You know, like habaneros. I love those too. I used to be able to eat those like candy. Now, I can't do it anymore. Big Simple, the Brown family, Sandy. Thank you all so much for coming through. I really appreciate it. Guarantee you, that's not my butt, that's my chair. <laughs> oh, God. What you been doing, Skins fan? Diva. Watch it. Watch it. Sit. Sit. Yes, I did. Sweet. Thank you very much. Good. Did right. yours? They should have. <laughs> Cindy says it may be your butt tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I probably will with the hot stuff. I, see, I like hot. I, I don't know. The burn is good, I guess. Jalapenos and some peppers have great flavor. But I just can't do that really, really hot stuff. I don't want to feel like I'm dying. I'll wait till that part of my life in order to do that. I, I just don't enjoy feeling like I have no breath. My mouth is burning, and it's not going to feel good for the next couple of hours, and then when it leaves, I don't want to ruin my day. Hey, Terry, I can't eat hot either. Thank you for um, coming by the live. Um, I'm still in quite a bit of pain from my uh, little surgery thing that I had, but I'll, I'm pushing through it. I'm going to replay yours too, Skin. This, by the way, Coca-Cola Orange Vanilla, absolutely fantastic. I would recommend everybody go and try it. I'm not sure if it's going to be a permanent thing. It sounds like it's going to be with all the advertising they've put in, but this stuff is really good. Hey, the Native family, thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, uh, the sinus stuff, I'm on a, a real strong antibiotic right now. And it's making me feel a lot better in that area. Oh, he will be put up. <laughs> I guarantee it. He said, just be careful so you won't be on the throne for a while tonight, Ricky. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> what are you eating those peeps? The root beer float peeps. These ones are really, really good. You can taste 
a lot of the root beer, a lot of the marshmallow, a little bit of the, I guess, maybe vanilla. Maybe I'm imagining it. I don't know. But I like this. This is really good. <laughs> yes, Sandy. She said Ricky makes pickle flavored cake. I would devour them. Last year, I think it was, Sonic had those... I don't know if it was like a slushy or something where they had pickle juice and all those other like snow cone flavors. I got a mini one just to try it. I loved it. Absolutely love it. If it wasn't so bad for me and so high in salt, I'd drink pickle juice. Though I hear it's good if you've got muscle spasms and things like that. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. And this is the Pete's. Uh, pancakes and syrup, they're, I don't think they're good. I don't think they're good at all, but I have to try it again. Maybe, maybe it'll grow on me. That's the pancake one? Mm-hmm. for the ones that went in here just a minute ago when I was talking. We're going to be going to um, out. We've got to go to Publix and get a few things that's on sale and we're going to ride out by the Walmart and film so everybody can see the damage that the tornado did this morning and out by Cracker Barrel and down through there. Yes, Pup Pup. Ricky would drink pickle juice by itself. Yeah. He has before. It, um, like I said, it, I think it's got, uh, something in it to help you with muscle spasms or muscle cramps, things like that. That's what I've been told. I don't know. But I've drank pickle juice before. I love it. It's, I, I love it. I can get some right now. That's okay. Well, you're not drinking it. I know that. What did everybody have for supper? You know, I think I will. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. We had chicken, garlic, Alfredo, ravioli. Alfredo ravioli. It was really, really good. It was good, Cindy, and then we had, it was like a garlic dinner roll with it. It was really good. The tornado was here in Dunnersville, but it was about five or six minutes away from us. It didn't come this way where me and my sister live. But it hit the garden center at Walmart. It tore down a bunch of power lines and ripped up a bunch of trees. Um, then it went on over to where Ricky goes to the doctor in Blount County over there and it ripped up barns and chicken houses and trees and stuff but as far as I know there's not been no fatalities. It happened about 6 to 6 30 this morning. We're supposed to get some more bad weather tonight too. Honey, I don't know what it didn't say in the news article that I read. Uh, we're in Alabama. Gunnersville, Alabama.
I don't know where Sherry went to. She was in here. Oh, we will, Terry, honey. Like I said, it, it was far, not real far, but it was, thank goodness, far enough to where we only got, like, rain and a little bit of, and some wind. They said that the tornado rating was EF1. But I'm back. I got me some pickle juice and I guess an appropriately looking glass. You got a pickle in there too, don't you? Yep, I threw a pickle in there as a garnish. Got to be fancy with it. A little sippy cup. There's just pickle juice, but... but. That's really good. I absolutely love pickle juice. I mean, it's terrible for me drinking it like this. With all the salt and other stuff in it, but they taste it. Want some? Uh-uh. Um, I guess I need to do a little bit more research to see if it actually helps with muscle cramps or spasms or something. I don't know what could possibly be in it to do that with the levels of salt. Uh, I mean, that can't really, really be good for anybody just to drink straight pickle juice, but if Jelly Belly ever comes out with pickle-flavored jelly beans, I'd jump all over that. Or maybe they do, and I just don't even know it. I did the Bean Boozle just a little bit ago, and I couldn't finish the box. It, it's, it's bad. It's all just bad. Even sometimes the good flavors taste bad. Oh, does salt help or sodium help with cramps? Okay. See, I used to, when I was working at Burger King, they would tell me, you know, uh, go get some pickle juice. That will help, you know, with you being on your feet a lot. So, when we were emptying out the buckets and all that, I would take just a regular little cup, grab me some, run out to the back. The boss and everybody said it was okay. I didn't just do it without asking. Hey, lady, Bob. I tram one time. Welcome. Yep, yeah, that, that's what he did, the bean boozle thing. If you're mad at yourself and got an evening, go ahead and try it. If you really, really want to hurt yourself, do you it. Know, I, I don't I don't recommend it at all. <laughs> so there's potassium in pickle juice. I love pickles so Just a few minutes to do that. Just don't say gotcha, not, sub, subscribe. You can't say any of those words. Just say like I left you a cookie or I visited your view you, or something like that. But you all will probably be seeing a lot more lives from us. We're going to try to um, do more lives to get our watch time up. So, you 
have anything to say? Uh, just a picture or two of what I found from the tornado damage over by where the Walmart is. If it'll come, if it'll come through or not. That's the garden center at Walmart. No, it's too bright. It. Cindy said, Ricky, I hope you and your stomach have a good time. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay, Pup Pup. I do appreciate everybody coming out. Yeah, it's just too bright to get a good picture. Hey, Unbox Warehouse. doing pretty good. What about you? See, it tore up a lot of the uh, Walmart, the garden center. Yeah. Yeah, that sky was very crazy. Uh, some people are crazy, went outside and took pictures of the tornado itself. Ah, uh, no thank you. Thank you, Unbox Warehouse. I appreciate you coming in our random live. That's what I was told too, uh, Put Put, at 4,000 watch hours every year instead of every month. Yeah, y'all just hit al.com and it'll take you to um, a lot of the pictures from the Blount County and the Walmart. And you can see all of that. And up by uh, Cracker Barrel where it, it knocked down all the power lines and stuff. I don't, I don't, <coughs> I don't know, it's kind of weird to say this, but this one's kind of my favorite picture of it. Or it's it dark. You yeah. can't really see it here on the vid, uh, the phone, but that's the tornado behind the water tower. I don't know which way to go with it. Thank you, Unbox Warehouse, for straightening that out. And. Hopefully, I'll see you more at Box Warehouse. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming. Okay, have a good night. Remember, God loves you, and so do we. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Love you all.